Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Yes, yes. Yes, we are on. We are live. This is Beaverton Peaks. Welcome to Beaverton Peaks. It is a podcast about Twin Peaks. I am your host, DJ Beaver. And you know, for Twin Peaks fans out there, not enough Twin Peaks podcasts. Some of them, you know, you, I, I see there's one in particular that has like 500 subscribers. There are many more Twin Peaks fans out there that want to talk Twin Peaks, want to listen to Twin Peaks, want to comment, want to discuss our all-time favorite show. I just want to talk a little bit about Twin Peaks, about the fact that it is coming back after 25 years. Talk a little bit about what you may be interested in seeing in the upcoming season. What are we looking forward to? What am I looking forward to? And uh, first off, let's just talk a little bit briefly about Twin Peaks, the original series. It aired from 1990 to 1991 on ABC. The creators were Mark Frost and David Lynch, and they created one of the most iconic television shows in television history. In a nutshell, the town of Twin Peaks was rocked by the death of high school student Laura Palmer, and thus began the mystery the romance between the fans and the town of Twin Peaks, the oddities that were the uh, characters that lived in Twin Peaks, the mysteries, the mysteries of the woods. It's the mysteries of the town itself. It was compelling, compelling television. But like I said, it, the first two seasons of Twin Peaks are on Netflix. Go back and watch it if you haven't seen it yet and you want to know what's going on. This podcast is going to concentrate on season three. Hopefully, we'll get enough uh, subscribers, enough listeners to where we'll have an after show. The The show is it was originally scheduled to come out in 2016. Now, it looks like it won't be coming out until 2017. A lot of, a lot of pieces, parts going into place to get this ship right. Uh, one of them being David Lynch, the director, the, the, the great, the infamous director, David Lynch. And what he wants to do is direct season three as one complete movie. He was on board. Showtime's picking up the show. And then something happened. David Lynch backed out. He decided he wasn't going to do it. And then he got back on board again. A lot of rumors as to why exactly that was. And also now that it's going to be longer than nine episodes. A lot of people are like, "Uh uh-oh, look out for the fluff. Well, I believe his original script was more than nine episodes long. I believe they they set it on nine episodes. I don't think it had anything to do with pay. I don't think it had anything to do with uh, contract negotiations or or cast of characters, people that he wants to bring back, the amount of money that Showtime's willing to spend on the show. The Showtime always said it's an open checkbook when it comes to Twin Peaks. They really wanted it. I, I believe David Lynch doesn't even know how many episodes. Showtime won't know until David Lynch is done filming it and how they edit it and how they put it in there. But I, I have a feeling it'll be l- like uh, Dexter or American Horror Story. Uh, 10 to 12, maybe 13 episodes long. A lot of the old characters will be back. Well, you said it's 25 years later. So first of all, you have to ask yourself a question. You have to ask yourself really two questions. Do you really want a third season? And do you really trust David Lynch? Fans have been clamoring, wanting a new season. And I think we've waited so long, especially fans that were there that watched it originally in its original run. And the way it was just taken away from us, uh, season two was canceled abruptly. Actually, to go back, retract a little bit, um, ABC wanted David Lynch and Mark Frost to tell us who the killer of Laura Palmer was in season two. They were forced to tell us the killer. And that happened, uh, we found out as an audience in episode 14, and the characters in the show found out in episode 16. Uh, A lot of fans think that is exactly where Twin Peaks ended, that it just all went downhill after that. I really do believe that the second half of the second season and and the uh, second storyline, if you will, That storyline was great. It just didn't have enough time to develop. If Lynch and Frost knew that they were going to have to give away Laura Palmer's, the the identity of the killer of Laura Palmer in season two, they would have, you probably would have seen a little more to get fans to get ready to actually uh, go after the mystery, which is the mystery of the woods, the mystery of the mystery behind the killer of Laura Palmer. I'm paraphrasing here. A couple other things did happen. And and that's another thing. Before I go any further, if you're going to comment about trivial stuff, 
you want to comment and say, oh, this also happened as well for any readers that don't know, go ahead, feel free. But I'm not going to entertain myself with trollers, and I'm not going to entertain myself with people that think they know more than I do about the subject. Like I said, this the, the, you could watch season one and season two of Twin Peaks, 29 episodes in a pilot, or some, some argue with me right now, it's 30 episodes, whatever. If you want to come and just argue about that with me all the time, I'm not going to entertain you. I'm not, I don't, I can watch all 30 episodes, 29, 28 and a half. I can watch them 50 times and there's, it's still open-ended. It's still open-ended for theories and speculation. And that's what I have. That's what a lot of Twin Peaks fans have. And anybody that tries to pick it up and watch it today, they're going to have a lot of questions when they're done. So getting back to my point, We've had questions for 25 years. You leave yourself to be let down if you believe that everything is going to come out fine. If you're, if you're looking forward to season three, don't go into it with any kind of expectations. Me, personally, they could have Balthazar Getty with a rabbit head standing in Big Ed's gas station for 45 minutes, and I'd be fine with it. Episode one could be 45 minutes of Balthazar Getty standing there with a rabbit head. Maybe Ed Hurley comes in every now and then and gets a tool and goes back outside, and you could hear him working on a car, and I will be happy. It's David Lynch. That leads me to my second question. Do you trust David Lynch? Because I, I, would, I would think that the answer would be no. If you really think about it, David Lynch has kind of flaked out on us before as fans. A lot of people seem to think between Lost Highway and Mulholland Drive and Inland Empire, they all do the same thing. They all start one way. They just flip the switch. To me, Mulholland Drive, personally, it was a pilot episode that just sat on the shelf. And when Lynch finally got his hands back on it, he added uh, 15 minutes there towards the end, put a little nudity in it, slapped a rated R on it, and uh, put it out in the theater and was nominated for Best Director that year for the Academy Awards. That's David Lynch. I understand that about the man. I am not going to go into a movie directed by David Lynch expecting anything but the unexpected. Leaving yourself open to that, season three is going to be incredible. Whatever they do, whatever they want to do, they can do it. Guess what? Because they're the creators. David Lynch and Mark Frost have written the script. It has a beginning, it has an end, and if there's one thing I know about David Lynch, he's so cryptic, you cannot ask that man, how's the weather today, without his answer leaving you walking away with your eyes wide open and shaking your head like, oh my goodness, I don't know if I got an answer or not. It's sunny, I think it's sunny today because I see the sun's out. That's David Lynch. David Lynch is cryptic, he always will be cryptic. In season three, I believe, we will get answers to some of those questions that we've been asking ourselves for 25 years, but we will also undoubtedly be left scratching our heads. So you do have to ask yourself, are you a true David Lynch fan? Because there are a lot of people out there that love Twin Peaks, the television show, and didn't like the movie. Guess what? David Lynch did the show. David Lynch did the movie. Mark Frost wasn't involved in the movie, and uh, a lot of fans of the show didn't like the way the direction it went. I personally am hoping that it will be more in the vein of the movie than the original show. And I know a lot of people don't agree with me. I know a lot of people want it to be like the original show. And they're, they're purists. They're so pure that I think they want Twin Peaks 25 years later not to have cell phone service. The Double R Diner is going to have Wi-Fi service. It's 25 years later. We have to move forward. The nostalgia part of it, you're going to have to be nostalgic about season three, 25 years from when season three is released. It's just you're not going to be able to recapture that. And that's what I was saying earlier. You're leading yourself to be let down if you believe that it's going to be anything but unexpected. So anyway, our next episode, we're going to be talking about the uh, continuation from season two. What do you want to see in season three? Which characters do you want to see again where we find we're going to talk about where we left off in season two what do you think happened what do you want to happen leave your comments below and let me know exactly what else you would like to talk about or like what you would like us to talk about i'm going to bring on a very special guest on the next episode until then thank you so much for listening to beaverton peaks i'm dj beaver and we will see you in the trees is that thing off <laughs>